Hi, I'm Paula Pryke and this is my studio in central London. I'm a floral designer and I've been working here in central London for about 23 years. I see a florist as sort of a person that conveys messages because whether it's a small bouquet for a valentine or a sympathy tribute for someone that's died or a huge wedding, you're really saying something for someone. It's a very personal job and apart from working with beautiful flowers, I think that's why I love it so much. Inspiration comes from many different places really. I think nature has got to be the biggest teacher. Often going to markets where I see maybe a new flower or vegetable markets I find quite inspirational. Travel, art museums, other disciplines like architecture, interior design, fashion, masses of different inspirations really. But normally it comes from actually the raw materials themselves. One of the questions that I'm often asked is how can I make a simple arrangement out of British seasonal flowers? And one of the best times of year certainly to do that is when you can get Narcissi and it's got these lovely, beautiful, solid door. I'm going to make just three little toperies of flowers, like a little tree. And I'm going to just put them into simple glasses that you could, you'd have in your own home. I'm just going to take the flowers and place the flower heads all at the same height. I'm twisting them around in my hand as I go along so they're all facing different directions. And these are quite closed at the moment so they will bulk out and look a lot flowerier. When you've arranged a nice dome of flowers at the top, then you need a little bit of tie. I'm just going to use some raffia but you could use any kind of string or ribbon if you like and tie around the base of the heads. Now a simple idea like this sometimes works better if you have more than one of them, so that's why I'm making three. Whenever you buy flowers, it usually comes with flower food, and flower food works in two ways. It's like a, it is a food, but it's also an antibacterial agent, so it's always a good idea to use it. I'm going to trim them all to about the same height. I've written 15 flower arranging books which have been translated into over 13 languages and I've just completed my last one which is called Flowers Every Day. Flowers Every Day came about because a lot of people want to have flowers in their home but they don't have access or can't afford large budgets for flowers and I wanted to see if it was possible to do simple seasonal flowers that everyone could do at home. So this book really is for an amateur flower arranger or someone who wants to improve their flower skills. I'm just really passionate about flowers, so I just feel very fortunate that I've been able to work with so many lovely clients producing great flowers and to inspire other people um, all around the world. I just feel very lucky.